Welcome back. An emergency can happen at any time, anywhere. Eisenhower Health is coordinating an upcoming multi-agency mass casualty drill. It's going to be this next Monday, March 4th. And Brody Ike, you're the Director of Trauma Services for Eisenhower Health. Thanks for joining us today. What should the public know about this upcoming uh, mass casualty event? It's not going to be at the hospital. Right. So uh, first, thank you for having yeah. me on so we can talk about this. Um, it's going to be March 4th, uh, approximately between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. We're going to start at Akersher Arena mm -hmm. is where the actual event will take place. And then the, um, the pre-hospital providers will then triage and move the patients, transport the patients to the local hospitals. So this will actually be something that people might see something and go, oh my goodness, there's something yeah. going on yeah. at the, and we'll get calls and it's okay because this, this is the planning in case something ever unforeseen should happen. Right. So it's a multi-agency. It's very yeah. strategically coordinated. Um, there's a lot of agencies that, will, that are participating and the whole idea is so that we can test our protocols and procedures and it's not really if, but more of a when something like yeah. this could happen um, to make sure that we have everything in place to coordinate and collaborate between the entire county and even into San Bernardino County. So that's why there's a number of these public agencies Correct. that are all going to be taking part. Everybody's kind of learning to work and use different frequencies, radio frequencies. Yep. Um, what should the public know uh, about this? So one of the big things that the public should know is that this is a fully coordinated full scenario type of uh, situation. So okay. everybody is treating this as organic and realistic as possible. So they're gonna see helicopters, mm -hmm. a lot of ambulances, a lot of fire engines, police, um, a lot of lights and sirens and noises around the arena. Yeah. Um, don't get uh, you know confused that it's something realistic. Just remember that it is a drill and that we are all um, pretty in, in charge of what's happening. Yeah. So uh, unless it's an actual medical emergency, not to call 911 related to what's going on. Yeah, and that's gonna be from eight to two Correct. on Monday. Don't call 911 from eight in the morning till two in the afternoon. Unless you're having an actual emergency. Yeah, yeah and then the traffic could be busy, but but that's all part of the, the, the program. There right, we kinda, we're kinda asking people if you have to commute by the arena to avoid Varner Road between Cook and Washington okay. from about 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay. We're hopefully by 11 a.m. everything will be at the facilities. So they may see around Desert Regional, JFK, or Eisenhower, a lot of the same lights and sirens. Yeah. Um, the, the helicopters will be landing and taking off, and a lot of firefighters, paramedics, and police will be around. Lots of interesting things. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time. Brody Ike, uh, the, oh. uh, again, the uh, Director of Trauma Services for Eisenhower yeah, Health. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks appreciate so much, it. and I uh, hope it all goes smooth.